Hi everyone and welcome to Knife Rev. Today we're going to take a look at Bark River's newest addition to the Aurora family, the Aurora 2. So let's take a quick look at the specs and get that out of the way. The overall length of the knife is 10 and a half inches. The blade length is uh, 5.6 inches in length. Blade thickness is 0.156. The steel is made out of CPM 3V. The grind is convex, a convex grind. And the material in this particular handle is ironwood. And it does come with a leather sheath. So let's take a quick look at the build quality of the knife. There's no tool markings on the blade on either side or on the spine. Um, the plunge grind is done very symmetrically, so that's nice. Same thing with the spine. It's done very symmetrically, come to a nice point. On the transitions of the handle and metal, it's very smooth. Bark River does a nice job with their, with their finish and their handle, so I've never had one where I actually had you know any uh, issues with the transitions between scales and metal and this one's no exception it's done very well all around also the um, bolts are finished uh, very smoothly I can't feel anything between the wood and metal so overall the build quality of this particular copy is finished very well so looking at the ergonomics of the knife, the handle is finished off really nicely. It's big enough where it can actually fit your full hand. My hands are large size and I, I have a very nice uh, forefinger grip on there with plenty of room left. So you don't have any issues uh, as far as having a handle that won't fit your hand. And the way they shape their handles is really nice with this uh, Coke bottle design. This is the uh, bigger model of the Aurora family. There's the uh, the standard and the mini, and uh, they both, uh, you know, given that the, they have a scaled version for it, proportional to the size of the knife, the scales are done the same way with this kind of contour with a Coke bottle. And I don't have the standard, but I do have the mini, and I can tell you that even though they're different size and it's just slightly bigger, they're both very comfortable to hold and it uh, gives you a very nice secure purchase. So this is the larger of the Aurora family and uh, being that it's the largest uh, one, let's take a quick look and see what the actual knife weighs. Okay, we get this get a little closer. So we're looking at 6.2 ounces uh, for the knife. It's not bad. I mean, for a knife uh, that's this size, uh, it definitely uh, does not feel uh, cumbersome. It's very nice, and for being a uh, five over, you know, slightly over five inches, five and a five point six inch blade, it really handles well. And I've had this knife just for a few days, so I got a chance to try it on some material. Haven't taken it out on the trail yet. But, um, yeah, I cut some wood with it, some cordage, uh, some uh, food prep with it, and it's handled everything very nicely. I haven't had any issues. A lot of people are, um, or question, you know, since this knife has a very sharp tip, you know, if it would be delicate, and I've actually drilled into wood and haven't had any issues, but then again, you know, I've only had this knife just for a, um, just for a few days, and, um, I can only speak from that experience, but uh, I've drilled into uh, redwood, which is pretty soft, and then some birch, which gets a little harder, and also from a madrone, which is a, a bit harder, and um, I haven't had any issues with it so far. I haven't broken the tip or had any problems. I do have to say that this is the second copy of the knife. The first one that arrived, and it arrived from the factory that way, it did have the little tip broken off and I don't know that was if that was done you know in the factory or during shipping but I did have to send it back and got a replacement and this one you know was finished very nicely and I haven't had any problems so far uh, some of the stuff that I actually drilled was uh, you know these holes over here Let's see if I can put another one in here this is a bit of a soft wood so not much of a chore for the knife. And you can see that it actually does a pretty nice job. That's a little bit soft. This is a little bit harder right here. This is um, some birch and I already 
did some drilling, but we'll do another one just to see what it looks like. And let's look at the tip and it looks fine. No problems there. And this is some Madrone, which is a bit harder. And I did a drill, uh, did a hole over there just to see what it would do. Try to get some power behind this and get some get to push in there. And I can understand where it's a concern, you know, where people are looking at the knife because it, the tip comes to be a very sharp tip and it could be, you know, a problem. But uh, so far from what I've experienced, and like I said, I've I've only had it a short time. It hasn't been an issue so far. So not a problem. So far, so good. But you know, uh, longer, uh, longer testing and usage will tell. So as far as how this knife cuts into wood, uh, this used to be a fairly large stick. I just kept whittling and whittling on it and just playing around with the knife to see what it does. And it can actually get some very deep cuts if you want it to. But if you put some light pressure on it, it can actually get very shallow cuts too. You can actually dig in with the tip over here. So it really cuts very nice. Um, I'm pretty happy with that so far. The knife comes with a uh, leather sheath and this is it right here. And it's pretty standard to what uh, Bark River puts out. You know, it has the uh, standard crossover or straight depending on how you uh, pass the belt through there. The stitching is done really nice on this particular model. The leather quality is very nice. It's, you know, the standard thickness that they put out and it's finished off very well. This one is a little darker because I applied some oven offs to it. And as far as my preference, it actually gives her a richer color. So I do like it. And the fit of the knife to the sheath is pretty positive. It seats fairly deep. So it's a very nice fit and retention is very good. It's not going to come out. So overall, it's a very nice uh, sheath for the package and uh, it rides very, you know, fairly low, so it's not gonna stick out and dig into your side. So as I said, I've had this knife just a few days. Uh, haven't taken that on trail. It's been testing it out with materials that I have uh, here at home and uh, I haven't sharpened it yet, uh, so I put it through some wood and some other uh, materials and food and stuff like that just to, just to see what it would do. And um, let's see how sharp it is after all that. Seems like it's holding its edge very nicely. So no issues there. Very nice. So this is the uh, biggest model in the Aurora family. It is, and like I said, there's the standard and a mini. I don't have the uh, standard one, but I do have mini. And just to give you an idea of uh, comparison in size, you can see how much bigger the, uh, you know, the Big Brother is, you know, the Aurora 2. And you can see that the handles are shaped the same way as the, uh, you know, the smaller model. And they're both contoured the same way. It's just that, uh, you know, one is proportionally bigger than the other. But both of them contour the same way. Both of them, you know, very comfortable given that one is, you know, this one is smaller than the other one, but you still get a nice grip on it, but very comfortable and very capable knives. So if you're looking for something that, uh, you know, you want to do bigger tasks or just in general have a bigger knife or you like bigger knives, then say the mini which you know to me it's a, a great hiking knife very very nice i really like this one a lot 
but I can see where this one could be very functional and if you're into doing bigger chores, this definitely would be something that you want to look at. So the pros and cons in this knife, well, I don't have any cons. I, I can't think of anything. The knife is finished very well. It's, it's performed very well with everything that I put it through and given that it's only been a, a few days that I've had it, just, just doing what I've done so far, the initial impression is that it's a very nice and capable knife. And being that it's uh, you know the, the bigger brother of the Mini Aurora, and I enjoy that knife very much, this one uh, is probably going to be the same, but you know I'll leave more time with it to see. But I, I don't see any foreseeable problems with it. So very nice. I, I'm really very happy to have this one, and it's a nice addition to the Aurora family. So if you've never had a Bark River knife and you want to get started, this would be a very nice uh, starting point. Uh, I think it's a knife that can do a lot of things for you. If you enjoy a knife that has a, uh, you know, a ten and a half inch overall length with a, you know, five and a half inch blade, this is uh, something that you might want to consider. A very nice knife and definitely a nice addition to the Aurora family because, like I said before, this knife over here, the small one, the mini. It's been great so far for me, and I expect the same thing from the big one here, even though I've had it for a few days. I expect uh, that it will do very nice, so definitely something to look into. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this knife with me. I'll catch you next time.